this is Damon Johnson of DJ Realty Solutions. Today, I am here with Hassan Darwin. We just got through seeing Hassan Minaj, who, oh, Hassan Minaj, I don't <laughs> mess his name up because there's a difference. There's one F and there's a double F. The show was fantastic Excellent. in my opinion. Um, I knew I had to have you out, one, because he's my brother, and two, because he's Middle Eastern. I wanted to get that kind of an opinion because sometimes you don't get the joke if you're not of that culture. So I wanted to make sure that I got the joke that, you know, it was like gonna be funny, was it a little bit of satire, was it uh, he was being serious. I thought, I didn't really have the opinion going into the show. I mean, I knew who he was, because of Gary, but I knew he was gonna be funny. I think it was gonna be that funny to me. I, I think it was great. What did you think about the show? I thought it was great, honestly. It was absolutely fantastic. I came in with, I, again, I know who he is as well, but not so much about his, his comedy in terms of the work that he's been doing recently. Um, but at the same time, I mean, he, he balanced it very well with the satire and the sincerity. And it was just an absolutely hilarious show and highly recommended that a lot of people check it out. Yeah, I was I knew him from the TV and from watching Gary and the uh, the Good Morning Show, but I didn't know he was that funny. Oh, like like a dry wit to be like, pop. I'm he, he knew how to bring you in. Yeah, the storyteller. Yeah, and then just break that moment. Up right, because right when he and I will give him credit and Trip, who's doing the camera work. Shout out to Trip on the visual. The visuals the sounds the little special effects were right on time like trip said it felt rehearsed perfect it was oh, like absolutely. like us sitting here talking that's how it felt i was like oh I, like he, he does a great job of a stage presence like he knows exactly who he's talking to he understands his audience he knows like how to kind of guide the jokes and the conversation whatever's going on and he got everybody involved in the front row as well, which was fantastic. So. Right, because I've been to a lot of comedy shows where it's like really vulgar, and it's like, oh god, yeah. like I got, like I'll get offended. Like, dang, did they just say that? This one, he, I mean, he cursed a little, but he just was that's the way he talks. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. normal. I love that he did his research before he got here. He knew what we are saying. Know your audience. He knew he it was a lot of brown folks in the audience. He cracked some Detroit jokes. He cracked Indian jokes. He had a little black joke in there. Talk, talk about Dearborn a little bit. Right. I I, like, okay. I love that he did his research. That it, you know, sometimes you go to shows or talks or whatever, and they looking around like, where am I at? I'm really in Troy, but I'm really in Detroit. Like, they don't oh, know yeah. where they are. Whoever helped him do his research or filled him in or whatever. See, we filmed him live. Y'all hear y'all the noise and whatever's going on, which is fine. I love that. He knew his audience. He pushed us right to the point where we'd be like, "Oh!" And then he sits your ass with a joke. You're like, "Oh, damn!" I was super offensive. Like I was feeling yeah. for. I felt for. I felt like I knew his wife, and I never met her a day in my life. I was like, "How did she put out with him?" So it just. I think it was. Well, hey everybody. I hey, think hey. it was <laughs> like really good. It was humorous, and I learned a lot. And. I got to hear him explain, like when the Saudi prince, when I, mer I remember when that happened, I was like, they gonna kill him. <laughs> I was like. It's, yeah, you learn a ton about his life at the same time. That's what's like, he's describing his life in a very comedic way. And it was just, you know, whoever's there really paying attention to the details and what he's talking about, it's, it's very funny, but at the same time, there's a message behind what he's talking about as well. So you gotta understand the lessons behind it. And, that's where he talks about, you know, reasonable audience. Reasonable yeah. And whatnot. So but, definitely makes sense. And I love that we couldn't have our phones, but he's addicted to social. And it felt so good to hear somebody say, I'm addicted to social, because y'all know me, I am too. I'm so addicted to social. I Go can't tell I can't tell you the number of times I fall asleep with my phone hitting my forehead. Like, oh, yeah. oh, but then people say, We love your videos. Yes, I know why, because I stay up all night studying this stuff. So you do, you like the likes, you like the attention, you live for it. I'm addicted to social. Social has made my career, so here we are. But I love that it social. felt like a late night talk show, but it was geared to us. Oh, absolutely. It didn't feel absolutely. old. It didn't feel like he was trying too hard. It felt like- no, it was authentic. It was I felt like natural. he was talking yeah, to us. Like it felt yeah. like we were just in his living room or whatever. And he Pretty was like, y'all guess what? 
I'm a dad, and I didn't really want to be a dad at first, and here we go, yeah. and get off your phone, but stay on your phone, but you hate your job, you couldn't do this. You know? I trust you guys, but I made you put your phone away. Yeah, like, it, was, it. It, was, it was a little bit of trust me like this. I don't know y'all like that, but I do know y'all like that, but I don't know y'all like that. It was real. I don't know what I was expecting, because I've seen him Likewise. on TV and stuff. And if you see him on social, he's quiet on social. Really? If you see him like on his pages, but you see him on stage, it's like, oh, yeah. dude, like, like, like this he's is a, the you. He's a natural man. He, he was very, very he natural. Very good. I got, I got. And we have the same name, so that's a plus. I'm, but we couldn't get in <laughs> backstage. I was like, y'all know each other, kinda, or we're related. We're his cousins, his cousins with his wife. Right? Like, can y'all like, let us in or something? Way to get backstage. Right? Like, like, listen, come on. But it was. A great, great, great show. I'm glad you came out. Um, I felt young tonight, y'all. I was Appreciate like, you me, I, was, I was like, here you we felt young. I yeah, felt old. I felt young. I was like, hey, I'm out with the, on all my I'm, out with the, I'm out with the young. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's getting the gray in the hair. Now, when it starts getting on your beard, that's I'll when be, you panic. I'll be there at 30. That's what full, full gray. At my 30. dad was salt. Years. My dad was salt and pepper, but he didn't get salt and pepper to his 50. So oh, I thought I had oh, a minute. My dad still was salt and pepper. Oh my god! I was that. like, what? And you don't pull one because 10 come to the funeral, so never pull them. I'm gonna be pulling them all. Yeah, the time. never, never pull them because I learned my lesson. The show was awesome. Absolutely. Um, I'll definitely be there when he comes back. I see why he sold out. I see why he sold out Madison yeah, Garden. Yeah. I, I see why. I, I I don't know what I was expecting. That was A plus. I'm trying to think. One out of ten. Ten being the best. What would you give it? I'd give that show a ten for being my first comedy show. Honestly, it kind of set the expectation. I thought he did fantastic. Yeah, Again, coming in with zero expectations. Yeah, he, I like. Like he he killed it the entire. Yeah, time. I didn't know what it was gonna be like. I was like, oh well, maybe it'd be like a little bit of. Yeah, and he, or, again, he had like from the moment he was on stage, even the the person who came on right before, before him, him yeah, awesome. his warm up act was awesome his too. Was great. So as soon as I seen like what his warm up warm -up, act looked like, I was like, was like right, oh yeah, like be, like it's gonna be okay, this is gonna cool. Be awesome, yeah, it so, was awesome. Yeah, I, I loved it, man. I so appreciate you having me. If you guys don't follow him, Hassan Minaj, go ahead and follow him. He'll love it. Absolutely. Instagram, Facebook, follow Hassan <laughs> Dog. And if you don't follow DJ Wilson, it's a shame on you. And if you don't follow G DJ Wilson, listen, where you at? I love that one. You see it on TikTok? I just When they're like, if you did the leg, where you at? So if you're not following us, it's a problem. Make sure if you can get a ticket to that show, make sure you go. Absolutely. It's awesome. I felt like I learned a little bit. I laughed a lot. Had a great time with great people. Um, how can they get in contact with you to follow you? Instagram, Twitter. What's your Instagram Facebook. handle? My Instagram is H underscore D-O-G, H-M-A-N, 23. Same thing on Twitter and Facebook is just my name. All right. So I'm happy to connect. You heard it here first. And as always, here's hoping that you have a great time at your next comedy show. Bye, everybody.